G'day guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. In this uh, video, I'm uh, just going to run you through how I'm making a new chicken water for our meat chickens. Uh, on the day I filmed this video, it was actually quite windy outside and I couldn't pick up any audio, so this is the first video I'm going to do with a, as a voiceover um, and just have the camera on roll. Um, wish me luck with that, it's the first time I've ever done it, so I hope I don't bore you too much with this and um, you guys can maybe learn something out of what I'm doing. Uh, just a little PVC water with a couple of nipples running along um, where I'm going to have a 100ml screw off cap on the top so that we don't have to actually enter the chicken coop with the meat birds to keep their water topped up and also it can hold a lot more water. Um, yeah, so stay tuned and see how I did it. Um, I've got another one coming up after this. In a few days time I'll be making a PVC uh, feeder for them because uh, in the previous times I've done meat birds I've just used uh, a little bucket on the ground and I've got 35 meat chickens this time and I really don't think it's going to be enough so that everyone's getting a decent feed. Uh, so I'm going to make a, a trough like feeder for them that they can all access at the same time and no one's going to miss out on feed. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, here we go. Hey guys, I'll leave a list down below in the description of the tools and the supplies I used for this project. So first thing I did was mark and then cut the excess off the um, top of the field tube where I will be filling this waterer from. Once I made the cut, I cleaned it up so that the glue would stick a bit better. I then practiced uh, drilling the holes in a scrap piece of PVC so that I could get the holes the right size for the nipple, uh, the water nipplers. Uh, once I got my holes practiced, then it was time to do it on the real thing. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I started drilling into the PVC for the first hole. I wanted to run these um, up the tube equal spacing apart just to give them enough room to drink from either side and they weren't crowded around one nippler. Uh, then I just triple checked that the nipples actually fitted into the holes nice and snugly and there'd be no leakages hopefully. Now the nipples weren't fitting 100% snugly so I'm just going to wrap some of this uh, silicone tape around the thread, give it a little bit more security in fitting there and hopefully not uh, leak any. Just had to clear the top off so we get free flow of water into it. Um, and then I just went ahead and, and screwed them in uh, so they fit nice and snug. As you can see, this one's a little bit uh, resilient to go in, but sorry, resistant to go in, but it did actually go in and it yeah, fits nice and snug in there. A uh, little washer on there to keep the water from leaking. After the nipple is put in, it's time to glue the end cap on the bottom rail. So I put enough PVC glue on both sides, the cap and the pipe. Just gave it a twist, um, spread the glue out a fair bit. Um, then I put the elbow on the other side and done, done the exact same thing with the glue. Right around the PVC pipe and then all around the elbow bend on the inside. And then I just gave it a little bit of a twist to spread that PVC glue out and give it a nice secure fitting. Also, you've got to make sure if you are doing this, you face that elbow opposite side to the nipples as that's where the water's going to fall. So you want um, facing up from the nipples. Uh, then I had to secure the uh, fill tube, which is just the vertical bit of PVC pipe that we'll be poking out the top of the chicken coop, um, which we can fill from. I did exactly the same there again, just adding enough glue to hold it and give it a bit of security uh, from leaking from water. So then you just insert that again and give the pipe a little twist so it can smear the water, uh, sorry, the glue around. After that, I just added the uh, 100 mil threaded end cap on it so that we can fill it from the top and we don't have to access the coop. And as you can see, that was it for this simple little job. Um, make the watering for the chickens a whole lot easier. And there you go, as you can see, it'll run uh, free in the middle of the meat tractor. 
giving them access to clean drinking water. I then just put some aquarium uh, silicone around the nipples just to give myself a little bit more insurance against leaks. So there you go guys, that was the uh, water I made um, out of a bit of PVC and some water nipples which I got on YouTube. Uh, it's about all the video that I had to shoot for that. As I said, it was very windy that day and I couldn't really get the shots I wanted. So I'm just, that's the video and hooroo, I'll catch you on the next one.